This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It's going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, more letters are coming in. As the letters come into the courts, letting the courts know how you were harmed by this AMC RICO conspiracy, how the fraud and corruption in the market has affected you and your family. I believe that the court needs to know that this lawsuit is not just some conspiracy theorist, as they like to call me, who who is making up things about what is, has transpired in the stock market, how the FTDs <laughs> and the, the naked shorting is some some conspiracy that I just invented on my own. I'm going to tell you guys something. The more people that the court sees was affected by the fraud and corruption, the more likely the court, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, is going to order a share count so we could see what the real <laughs> share count is of AMC and GME. It is going to reveal... What I believe is billions, billions of counterfeit AMC and GME shares that the bad actors shorted into the market in order to manipulate the price and rob retail investors and pension funds. Anyway, the letter that came in today was from a gentleman by the name of David. And, and if I mispronounce your name, sir, that was not my purpose. The Graf Henry, David the Graf Henry. And... and Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Graffin Reed is a great researcher, an excellent writer, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was already published because his yo know, he wrote twelve pages to the courts, and now his twelve pages is on the docket in this lawsuit and part of the public record. Let, let me tell you how this letter started. And I'm not going to read the whole 12 pages because it it, it 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 would take probably too long to go through his 12 pages. But the letter starts like this. This letter comes at one of the most troubling and precarious of times for the United States of America's markets. Though this is in regards to the ticker symbol AMC, this is not the only security on the New York Stock Exchange being blatantly manipulated in the face of justice, Congress, federal authorities, and the American people. These perpetrators are responsible for the outright theft and robbery of the American retail investor. The openly stealing of generational, generational accumulated wealth is being systematically swindled away by the designated market makers, broker dealers, the CEOs of investment banks and hedge funds like Ken Griffin of Citadel, and a plethora of other unscrupulous financial hosts similar that participate and help facilitate these financial atrocities. AMC Entertainment has been a target of a smorgasbord of illegal activity from order spoofing, naked shorting, intentionally missing, mismarking orders, FTDs, or fair to delivers. And that is how the letter starts. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It gets better after that. It gets better after that. He goes into the dog pool. He goes into the mem stock rally. He goes into... He, 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 it, it's almost like he's writing a motion. It's almost like he's writing a motion. He has U.S. code in there. He has references for the courts to look up if they don't believe what he's saying. I mean, it, it, it is just absolutely crazy to me how well written this letter is how informative this letter is it goes into how the sec is just corrupt i mean okay <laughs> and, and and here's another paragraph that i like this issue has no ne negligible excuse what it does harbor in a slew of conflict of interest bribery racketeering insider trading rico violations organized crime breach of trust, breach of contract, and breach of oath violations of the American Constitution 
and treason and treason against the United States of America and the people they were appointed to protect. I mean, I love this letter. I love this letter. I love this letter. And then here's another one that I, I really enjoyed. This issue is not is just not with AMC. This issue is a systemic in its nature, acting as a tumorous cancer, metastasizing rapidly with the unholy grass embedded into the fabric of our capital markets and our macroeconomic infrastructure. I hope the DOJ, the FTC, the Financial Services Committee, members will aggressively and tumultuously respond to the issue against these banks and the above-mentioned institutions. I mean, this guy, he, he wrote it, he researched it, he talked, he, he thought about it, and then he put it on paper. This is absolutely, I mean, I'm, I'm in love with this letter. The used to be trusted atmosphere of the financial industry has been replaced with a toxic fog of the sea. And with the overseers handing out wrist slaps and meaningless fines to investment banks, <laughs> the captains of industry and their henchmen <laughs> deepen their talents into the flesh of our economy. I mean, this is a great letter. You guys have to keep the letters coming in. You have to let the courts know exactly what they've been doing to us for the last three years. And then he says, we the American people are once again at the precipice of revolution, a revolution of consciousness, a drastic change in the way we think of ourselves individually and as a country. This newfound ideal is, is under the realization that a majority of what we believe that was built for our protection and our well-being has been undoubtedly compromised by clandestine interest and nefarious agenda. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely crazy. And then, you know what he does? He quotes Thomas Jefferson. He quotes Thomas Jefferson. And he says, if the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and the corporations that will grow up around will deprive, de deprive the people of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. And then you know what he says after that? He says, we are those children he speaks of and the corporation that have grown up around that are depriving the American people are companies like Citadel Securities by sophisticatedly scheming, stealing the generational accumulated wealth of an entire nation and using those same corporation and banks that Thomas Jefferson spoke of to, cre to create a villainous a allied regime of financial institutions whose sole purpose is to generate profit to the detriment of the people of this great nation. I'm going to tell you guys something. I love this letter. I think he is displaying to the courts how he feels and how the fraud and the corruption in the stock market in the AMC play and the GMA play has affected him personally, has affected his family, has affected us as a nation and put us at risk of a revolution because of all the fraud and corruption that's going on in the market. Anyway, guys, please keep the letters coming. Please keep the letters coming. Let the courts know how you were defrauded because of the fraud and corruption that the SEC has allowed in the market with the RICO, the AMC RICO conspiracy. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.